Making an electric motor is an art form. Just ask Adam Reed, Nissan's globally certified trainer for e-motor production. He spent two three-month stints at Nissan's global headquarters in Japan, learning how to sculpt these structures. In our second trip, we went to learn specifically about all the equipment. It starts with the winding process. A little more than one mile of wire is wound to form a motor. The wire then conducts an electromagnetic field to create rotational force and pull a vehicle. The winding is a very complex piece of equipment. Uh, we're still learning a lot about it. It has two parts at a time traversing inside the equipment, going different directions. And so it's very hard to keep up with sometimes. Reed supports a team in Deckard, Tennessee. They are conducting production trials on the e-motor. Those motors will then go into the 2013 Nissan LEAF, soon to be produced in Smyrna, Tennessee. And after winding, uh, it'll actually wind the wire into a phase. we have a three-phase motor. And then after the wire is put in, it comes back out to another section in the same equipment and uh, has what they have called forming, which actually kind of pressures the wire back to keep it all formed together and uh, uniform looking. It takes more time for an electric motor to be assembled compared to a gas engine. Our technicians will start uh, observation of that piece, going through quality check sheets and making sure everything's like it's supposed to be before they actually proceed. It will take about 25 people per shift to ensure an electric motor is made properly. It's very exciting being on the ground level and getting it started and knowing that when that first one comes off the line in Smyrna and here as well, that uh, we're going to have our name somewhere on that motor.